New tonight, Governor Kay Ivey awarded thousands of dollars to the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency to help keep track of sex offenders throughout the state. Wait, did ones Nicole Zedek joins us live now with a better uh, sex offender database and how it could help fight human trafficking as well. Nicole. Well, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, Aaliyah, keeps the sex offender registry on their website, and they're tracking more than 16,000 offenders in that database. Some of them, those offenders, have also committed human trafficking crimes, but that itself is much more difficult to keep track of. It's difficult to, to capture the statistics and stuff of just how much human trafficking is going on in a place. Human trafficking often goes unreported. But Rick Tate with the North Alabama Human Trafficking Task Force says just because we don't have the data doesn't mean it's not happening right here in North Alabama. It's the second largest criminal enterprise in the world. You know, it's only second to drugs. One database that can be beneficial in human trafficking cases is Aaliyah's Sex Offender Registry. The Sex Offender Database is really good, but you know, it, it, it differs. The North Alabama Human Trafficking Task Force is working to get more people registered in that database. One of our big priorities is if uh, someone is convicted of you know, trying to procure underage sex, having them register as a sex offender. You know, we, we hadn't got there yet, but hopefully soon. Tate says it is important to have an accurate sex offender registry, but he would like to see a separate database specific to just human trafficking. But to do some sort of database to capture the statistics, to see where the, the, the problem is most prevalent in, in the state. A problem that takes all agencies to tackle. You know, we could all be more effective if we all work together. And from a task force perspective, that's what we try to do. The North Alabama Human Trafficking Task Force works to bring more awareness to human trafficking through educating the community and lobbying with politicians. They're hosting their annual Human Trafficking Summit right here in Huntsville on January 15th. Reporting live in studio, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News.